Hey there YouTube, today we're going to be uh, blacking out the emblems on this 2012 Chevy Cruze. We're going to be using a vinyl sticker instead of like paint or anything like that. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, start doing that. For the uh, install of the vinyl, we're going to need obviously the vinyl. Uh, we're going to need uh, one razor blade, uh, preferably a brand new one. And then you're also going to want some towels or a microfiber cloth with some soap and water and also make sure you dry it really well but uh, you're gonna want to clean that emblem before trying to lay the sticker down so we're gonna go ahead and go and clean this emblem right now all right let's go ahead and clean this so I'm just taking my cloth here it's barely even wet so I just want to kind of scrub it clean it really good especially the, all the gold part the chrome doesn't matter so much because you're not gonna put the black on top of the chrome but just make sure that gold emblem piece is very clean. And then dry it off with the dry side. And now it's clean. Now I went ahead and cut that big sheet down to a little bit smaller size, one a little bit more manageable. Uh, also, I measured it, made sure it would fit before I cut it. So you can see here that it's going to fit both ways. Uh, so what we're now going to do now is uh, unpeel the sticker from the backing and we're going to go ahead and stick it on there. So with the sticker unpeeled from the backing, you're going to want to stick it in the middle first. And then slowly push to the outside, push to the outside, push to this outside, then push upwards and then downwards, and then fill in the rest here. What you're gonna do is it's gonna leave a little indentation of where the Chevy emblem, the gold piece actually is around the chrome piece. So if you have a small little nail, you can kind of just kind of push it into the uh, crease that is there all the way around it. So that way you get a more defined edge all the way around. Just kind of defining that edge, making sure it sticks down really well. That all the way around. And then make sure it's nice and solid in there. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take our razor blade and I'm gonna start uh, running it in the edge that I'm running my fingernail in right now. Now, some people like to use a heat gun beforehand. It's summertime here, so I'm not going to worry about it. It's about 75 degrees. It's adequate temperature. But if you're doing this in winter, definitely use a heat gun. Kind of make sure you heat up this uh, vinyl sticker beforehand. But like I said, we're going to take the uh, brand new razor blade. You're going to want to run it within that groove all the way around. I found that uh, starting from the inside and working out is usually better. That way you don't cut the inside part of the uh, vinyl. You can run off. Like that. And then just kind of connect the two dots. Connect the two cuts. So you're just going to go ahead and continue all the way around here. You to be extremely careful to not cut your uh, chrome emblem. Make sure it falls into the groove.
this is a lot better than painting. You're going to get a lot cleaner look doing it like this. That's my own personal opinion. I've already done one of these on my wife's tracks. Looks really good. I guess I'll show that here after. Her. Now, like I said, make sure you connect all the pieces where the joints are. That's important when you're going to go ahead and peel this off here in a minute because that's the part where it always wants to stick. I think I'm clear all the way around. Let's go ahead and peel this off. I want to slowly peel it off, making sure that it stays on your emblem. And then kind of just lay it down. Like I said, run your fingernail in the track a little bit. But there you go. Perfectly blacked out emblem. Looks great. And now we'll go ahead and do the front. And there we go. We went ahead and did the front one off camera. I showed you how to do the rear one away already. So it's the same process, but as you see, looking good. Uh, job well done. This is the Chevy Cruze RS 2012. Works for any of the Chevy Cruises or any other Chevys. Uh, if you could, just like and subscribe. It really helped me out a lot. Thanks for watching.